hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video we'll be looking at how to create our own mock-up photos in canva so let's just rename this design and let's just get right into it these are two templates i made for a small business and they are so cute tell me which one in the comment section which one you guys like this or the first design or the second one anyways let's not get distracted okay so the first thing we're gonna do is decide on our background color so we're going in backgrounds and we're gonna look for a background color we're gonna go with a solid color and i'm going to go with a neutral so this is good then we're going to go to elements we're going to look for frames as a designer we have a basic idea of what we're trying to create what um, picture we're creating a mock-up for so it all depends on what you actually want and we're just going to find elements that suit the mock-up photo so in frames we can look for different ranges of cutout pictures that are in canva also look in magic recommendations where they give us some extra elements that we can look through and just pick from okay so we're gonna go back and we are gonna type in device tablet frame now from this we're going to select this one this is a good one and then we're gonna center it and then we're gonna search for our picture that we're using in this mock-up so we're choosing this and we're gonna send it to the back of this frame and just position the frame around it completely so that it hides the edges of the picture remember in canva we utilize our elements to make our designs come to life so we're going to look for a drop shadow and from this we're going to search for a realistic one so we're positioning the shadow underneath the tablet just to give it a different effect a different look on the design and we're going to send it backwards and then we're going to just shape it up and edit it as necessary so that it falls right beneath the tablet so this is the effect that we're going for we put it in the center and we utilized our shadow so that it gives us a nice effect like it's sitting on top of that tablet frame now we're going to search for different elements to go around our picture so in elements we're searching for a keyboard we're going to filter it to show cutouts only and these are the results that canva gives us so we can scroll through and look at the different options with the keyboard, with the different keys. But more than often, we actually have a picture in our minds of what we actually want our mock-up photo to look like. And if you really don't know, you can always look on Pinterest for inspiration, look at the internet, look at different mock-up photos that already exist in Canva and get inspiration from that. So I'm just showing you the different elements that Canva populates when you search for keyboard cutouts. You can search for a range of different things. You can search for cell phones, coffee. This is a nice pop-up right here. You can just search for any single element and Canva will just give you a range of options. I want to keep this design very simple so I'm just looking for a range of elements that will just suit the picture. So I'm looking for pens and as you can see some of the best elements are actually on the pro version so if you're using canva and you have the free version then some of the elements are not available to you but you can still create a nice looking design nonetheless but if you want to upgrade or you want to try with canva pro there's a link in the description box for you to do so but with 30 days free so you guys can check that out at your own time so we're looking for different elements as i said before i'm showing you what canva offers in terms of the different cutouts so you can search for paper as well and we have different clip-ons clipboards crushed paper plain paper books it's a whole lot of options these elements don't just have to be objects in the mock-up photo it can be used to give it different textures so for example you're using the paper you can use it to line the border of your paper so it gives a different look than just to have a plain background so that's one option as well you can also search for elements like money 
put your dollar bills on there you have a whole different range of options guys canva is just for persons who don't have a lot of experience or you're actually experienced and just looking to have fun in creating designs for your business or for your brand you have a lot of options here so i'm going to search for clipboard this one is a nice pop-up again it's the pro version but that's cool and we're going to just position it right here i'm just going to take out the elements that i'm not using and keep the ones that i want to stay in this design so i search for crushed paper and i'm going to use this paper design to give my mock-up photo a little bit of texture so i'm just going to send it backwards and play around to see how best i like it And then I'm going to search for letter and choose the best one and just kind of fill up the empty space at the bottom. The last thing I'm going to add, I'm going to search for shop now and look at the different options and just put it right to where the picture is. The main focus of the design is to be on the pineapple decor items. So we want to just urge our audience to actually shop with us. So we're going to look for a shop now or click here icon. So we're going with this circular option that says click here. So our customers can click and shop or home decor item. So this is a final look. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or comments. Thanks again for watching. Bye.